Hi guys, it's Dan from Dan's Best Tech. Is it possible to game on the cheapest 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro? Let's talk about that. The 8th Gen Core i5-8257U processor with the outdated Iris Plus 645 integrated GPU only gets a measly OpenCL score of 6600 in Geekbench 5. In this video, I go into a little more detail about my gaming experience on this laptop. Specifically, I wanted to show and compare the gaming performance in Mac OS, Boot Camp, and even Parallels 15 for four different games, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Civilization VI, CSGO, and Fortnite. Since I'm not expecting the greatest results here, I attempt to run all games at the lowest settings at approximately 720p resolution. I also test each game with and without my eGPU, which consists of the $300 Razer Core X with the $440 Radeon RX 5700 XT. That said, Running an eGPU in bootcamp is a little finicky at this time, so I didn't test the eGPU with a bootcamp. Now let's get to the good stuff. Shadow of the Tomb Raider ran at 36 FPS in native macOS around 720p resolution. Not bad. This jumped up to 100 FPS with the eGPU. Very exciting stuff, you gotta love that metal engine. Moving to bootcamp, it only ran at 17 FPS, so it's weird to me to see games running better in Mac. And in parallels, the game would hang on the first frame without the eGPU and wouldn't even boot with the eGPU. Civilization VI ran at 40 FPS around 720p resolution without the eGPU in native macOS. With the eGPU, it almost doubled to 70 FPS. And it ran around the same 40 FPS in Windows. And in parallels, it ran at 22 FPS with stutter and some serious graphical artifacts. And the bump to 32 FPS with the eGPU didn't fix the stutter or the graphical anomalies. CSGO ran in the 80s in native macOS, but there was some significant stutter. Surprisingly, the eGPU didn't help and the FPS even dropped. And there was still stutter. My guess is that this game isn't using the GPU at all, or it's poorly optimized for Mac. In bootcamp, the FPS stays in the 60s to the 100s with no stutter. And in parallels, it ran between 50 and 100 FPS without the eGPU, and 100 to 200 FPS with it, but the stutter makes this game unplayable in the virtual machine. Moving to the final game on the list, Fortnite ran in the 70s and 80s in macOS without the eGPU, and with it, the FPS jumped to 220. It ran between 50 and 100 FPS in bootcamp, and under parallels, it ran around 30 FPS without the eGPU, and I didn't see any performance gain with it. And again, the stutter is terrible using this virtual machine. In conclusion, the cheapest 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro with a two-year-old Intel Core i5-8257U CPU with the Intel Iris Plus 645 integrated graphics is definitely not going to play games very well, but it is possible at 720p lowest settings. Additionally, gaming on Windows using Bootcamp will mostly always give you a better gaming performance than when gaming in Mac OS, and it's nice to see that eGPUs can boost gaming performance so well in native Mac OS, but I really do wish Apple would work to get eGPUs working better in Bootcamp. As far as Parallels 15, it's nice to see that eGPUs are supported, but the stuttering in games makes all the games that I tested unplayable. So do I recommend this setup? If you have the cache and need Mac OS, then I just recommend getting the 16-inch MacBook Pro for late 2019. If you need something a little bit lighter and still want to game at lowest settings using Mac OS, then the 2020 13-inch MacBook Pro is a good idea. But if you can stand Windows, then I just get the $1,450 ASUS Zephyrus G14. But let me know what you guys think down in the description below. And hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And I'll catch you in the next one.